Osaka and to Copenhagen's highest point. We're, I'm in Copenhagen and it's raining. My first day of skiing in Copenhagen. Well, actually it's gonna to be tomorrow. Hopefully the weather is better tomorrow, but it's not gonna be a problem like I never skied in rain before. Ha! Yes. Yeah, let's take the train. I'm at the train station, by the way, if you're wondering. Welcome to Copenhagen, to Amar Bakken. Is that Amar Bakken? Copenhill. Copenhill, Amar Bakken. Amar, Amager, Amager Bakken, Amager Hill. Also known as, uh, as Copen Hill. And it's located right in downtown Copenhagen, Denmark, for the people who don't know where Copenhagen is. This is a combined heat and power waste to energy skiing hill and this is really revolutionary thanks for talking <laughs> in the background i uh, hope hope that turned out good on the video um uh, this is a um, this is a, and this plays a, a, a major role in copenhagen's ambitions of being a zero carbon uh, uh, city by 2020 85 meters high so it's quite high maybe 8500 meters high and it's 400 meters long or 500 meters long so it's a it's a long slope <laughs> maybe they're doing some heli skiing here as well maybe 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 we had some powder up on top because it's raining down here just joking it's probably raining up there as well um, that's it let's let's check out what this slope is all about it's plastic and um, it's my first time ever on a plastic slope. So that's a new thing for me as well. Okay, let's go. Copenhagen's highest point. I don't know if the Radisson Hotel is higher. I haven't seen, maybe not. 
There are some chimneys higher, but hey, pretty high up. Check out this scenery back here. You have windmills and you have a water park for wakeboarding. You have a go-kart track for for driving with the racing for the, with his go-karts. And of course you have this ski slope. That's absolutely fabulous. And uh, there are a couple of things. You're probably wondering if this is the same as skiing on a, on a real slope with snow. And I, I, I'm surprised to say that it's actually quite similar. Uh, it feels like you're skiing on a slope that is very icy. And it's also because my skis are rental skis with, with the edges are probably not the best. So I, have, I don't have that much grip, but if I rented skis in the Alps or anywhere else and ski on this slope, it would still feel the same, I guess. Uh, or I, I expect it to be the same kind of experience. Um, there are a couple of things that you're used to do on snow that you can't do here. For example, you usually get snow on your ski and you do like this. You get the snow off your ski. You know, just like that. But that's completely unnecessary because uh, there's no snow. Another thing is that when you put your ski on, then you usually go like this to take the snow off your bottom of the ski boots to put it in it's also not necessary so this is in a way a lot easier at least putting on your gear Let's see what we can do here some nice parallel turns <laughs> This, this is incredible. This slope is, is totally awesome. And uh, it's, it's like skiing on ice. So it's, a, it's not an easy surface to ski on, but I think that uh, uh, it, it serves well as a, as a starting point for anyone who, who wants to, 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 to learn how to ski. Also, also people brush up on their skiing um, before the season starts uh, and, um, and before going to the Alps on a, on, a, on a ski trip. This is the perfect place. So I'm gonna do some basic drills and you can see, you can see for yourself how this works. It actually works. Everything that works on snow works here as well. So we're gonna do some basic wedging drills and parallel drills and, uh, and uh, just to show. Okay.
you know, putting on your ski pants. Yeah, when you put on your ski pants, first time here, you can see if you have gained weight or not, you know. So. They're still fit. That's a good thing. 